Good morning, hi. Today is day one of our road trip from Florida to California, more specifically Sarasota to Sacramento. And it is very early, it's like 7.30 in the morning and we are all packed up. You can see it is pretty much completely empty. Um, Corey is out taking the dog for a quick little walk right before we get them all in the car. <sighs> Today is gonna be a long day, a little bit of a stressful day, but we're also very excited. Today we are driving from Sarasota, Florida to Shreveport, Louisiana. It should be about 14 hours of driving, but of course add in some time for bathroom breaks and food and all of that stuff. I'm gonna quickly go ahead and show you guys our setup and then we're gonna get going. Okay, so here is our trailer. And as you can see, it is pretty full. My bag is gonna go like right there and then we're closing it up. The dogs are gonna go back here. We have three dog beds, one for each dog obviously. A nice little cover. We also laid down some cheap sheets and then we have this little barrier to hopefully prevent you know, the dog going in between the two seats. And then Corey will probably be driving majority of the time, but hopefully I'll be able to take over a little bit too. So we got uh, puppy pee pads just in case, paper towels. And then on my side, I have just my cuddle and carry blanket. And then I also have like a heated blanket and that one plugs into the ashtray thing. So that will hopefully keep me warm because it is chilly. We are starting with, oh, it just disappeared, 3,992 miles on here. And today, we should be putting 1,000 miles on this car. 1,000 miles, that's insane. It's cold, I never thought it'd be cold in Florida, but it's really kind of cold, so. <sighs> I'm ready to get this started and at the same time just so ready for it to be over. <laughs> Later. We are at our first stop. <sighs> it's going. <laughs> um, it's taking us a little bit longer than we thought it would take. It's a lot. It's it's hard, you know, because there's three dogs and a trailer and us and it's a lot, but we're we're making way with it. All of the dogs, thankfully, were given some medicine from the vet to help keep them calm and sleep majority of the way. Of course, they woke up as soon as we like stopped driving. It's going. We're doing the best that we can and just trying to enjoy it as we go. So, uh, wish us luck. All right, back to the road. We are at stop number two. So, don't judge. Um, these little like uh, car air fragrance things, I haven't quite figured out how to work it, so I just have it like pulled up to my jacket. But we are at a rest stop right outside of Tallahassee and we are taking the dogs out one at a time. Corey is taking them out. I'm staying in the car with the other two. Hold on, we're about to swap one more dog around we just finished puppy and Maya and now it's time for me go so hold on a second okay sorry we just swapped out um we're just taking the dogs out for a quick little bathroom break um, we're at the rest stop and here I'll show you guys actually so you can see Corey is taking Miko right over there. Um, we're doing pretty well. Right now it's saying that we are gonna get in at 10.30. When we first started this drive, it said 9.30. But, I mean, you know, that's to be expected considering we're driving with a trailer and three dogs and all that good stuff. But I am working on Instagram, doing some things on there. Corey is driving. I will see if he wants to switch. I've been asking him, but he's kind of like in the zone. So I feel like just like, letting him do that so anyways he's back already and it looks like Miko is ready to get in and go so 
I guess we're going. He wants to come back. Come on. Oh, Miko, hi. You're so excited, are you? <laughs> to be in here. Okay. First dog walk during the trip over. Wasn't as bad as I thought. They're pretty drugged. They're definitely drugged. Did everybody pee? He, everybody peed. It took him forever to pee. He was sniffing at everything. Them, they hardly even made it to the sidewalk. I saw Did you her. See that? Yeah. Him, he took forever. He is so stoned. Seriously, he was <laughs> you like, can tell by his he eyes. was like walking like this, like he's all messed up. Did you see Miko? He peed immediately, turned around, and wanted to come back in the truck and just jumped in here. Yeah. Like, he's having a great time. He's the only one that's not stoned. <laughs> he's the only one that's not on drugs right now. Mm -hmm. Just the other. <laughs> Maya's freaked out. He's freaked out. Yeah. He's stoner. Yeah, that's a stoned dog. <laughs> and then there's her, if you can see her back there. She's chilling. Then there's that big guy way Miko. back there. He's happy. He's having a great time. Stop. and we had to get some food too got some McDonald's we are just a little bit south of Pensacola we have officially crossed over into Central Standard Time so we're no longer on like the East Coast so we gained an hour which is great but stopping for food and for bathrooms and stuff it's kind of added some more time so right now it's saying that we're gonna arrive at 11 11 p.m. Probably because of one more stop, it'll be more like midnight. That's okay, you know, we're just doing the best that we can and you know, making memories along the way. So I'm hungry, I haven't had anything to eat all day. Corey is driving like a champ. He is doing so, so, so well for his first time driving with a trailer and you know, like I know both of us are nervous plus having the three dogs, it's just, it's a stressful situation but we're getting through it. Um, so I'm available to take over and start driving whenever he like needs a break, but so far he's been good and I don't wanna like ruin the like flow that he's in. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and eat because I'm so hungry. But yeah, so just wanting to give an update. Dogs are doing well, huh buddy? No, he's still pretty high. <laughs> Anyways, okay, uh, let's get back to driving. made it to the hotel we ended up somewhere different we were planning on making it all the way to Shreveport today but we only made it to Jackson Mississippi it was just a really really long day we are both exhausted um, the dogs are all very tired and I mean they've been sleeping but they're just I think they were very anxious with everything going on I'll show you guys the room uh, La Quinta is amazing because we called like an hour and a half before we got here seeing if they even had room and if they took pets and if they did would they allow three pets and they did they were amazing and it was pretty affordable too so I'm gonna go ahead and give you a room tour really quick starting off with the door here we have our vanity bathroom area and here is the bathroom Nothing too special. 
And then we got a living room, which is great. It is a little dirty. One of the dogs was already sniffing it, but that's okay. And then we have like a little office area, which won't be used at all. Um, and then the big huge bed area. There's a little closet over here too, but we're not gonna be using that. And yeah, pretty simple, nice room, and we really can't complain. It's perfectly big for all five of us tonight. It seems like everybody's made themselves right at home. What do you think, Miko? Is this place okay for the night? Hmm? Some are still a little unsure, but they're getting used to it. We have some food for them and some water. We're over here checking for bed bugs, too. <laughs> Miko, you're just... You're all set, huh? Is that your spot for the night? What happened today? It's kind of a long story, but we realized very quickly, I'm gonna set you down. So we realized probably like an hour into our drive that it was gonna be a whole lot harder than we thought. Neither one of us had pulled a trailer before and none of us had traveled with three dogs in the car before and we have both traveled across the country to road trip but when I went I was a little kid so I couldn't drive and then the other time it was Corey and his mom so they were able to like knock it out and they had it like all planned and everything like that and it worked out really well and this drive is not easy <laughs> like I don't know what made us think that we could handle like three 14 to 16 hour days and like just knock them out real quick and we'd get there but that is not the case and that is not what's going to be happening um today not only were the dogs really anxious and stressed but we were anxious and stressed and you know it's a newer vehicle um I'll leave that video up here when we got um the forerunner so we got a new vehicle it's our first time towing it it's our first time towing anything at all and so you know just getting used to the feel of a trailer and then on top of that you know you're driving such a long distance i mean we did 600 miles today and that's just like insane so then we have three dogs and each of them well two of them took medication today and one of them's already super chill so it was fine um but you know they're taking medicine and we were trying to like pay attention to like gas and you know when we needed to stop there and because of course we have the trailer we only wanted to stop at truck stops where there's plenty of room but each time we got to a truck stop it would take us like 30 minutes just to be able to get into a spot because it was so crowded and then um we would have to stop again at a rest stop to let the dogs out and you know let them do their business and whatever um and then it was time for us to stop again because we needed more gas plus now we were hungry and it was just so long and such a like difficult draining process that even though it should have only been 14 hours it took us way longer and we didn't even get as far as we wanted to go today. We wanted to get all the way to, um, where did we want to go? We wanted to go to Shreveport, Louisiana. And we have made it, <laughs> we still have like six hours left. And we were both just like over it. Like it's just like, nope, this is too much. Like we are burnt out and it's only day one. So we, I, Corey was driving at the time. I called around and I found a pet friendly hotel in Jackson, Mississippi it is the La Quinta. So we were staying here. We got a great deal. Um, we're staying here for the night and yeah, we needed it. So we got in, I think it's like 9.50 now, maybe closer to 10, but we got in like right around 9.15 or so, let the dogs out, came up here. We're just hanging out. We did just order food. We ordered Taco Bell. Um, I wanted pizza, but it was 9.43 when I went to order the pizza and they stopped taking orders at 9.30. So 
there's that. That's okay, whatever. It's just food is food at this point and we're sitting still and we both get to eat it at the same time. So I'm happy with that. It's been crazy. I just almost stepped over a dog. So we have Poppy right here, we have Miko right here, and Maya's on the couch. I'm so tired and we've also definitely changed our plan. Tomorrow was gonna be our long day. We were gonna drive like 16 hours and that does not, like that wasn't gonna include stops or anything like that. And now we've completely revised it. We still need to like call around and like cancel the hotel and get a new hotel, but we'll deal with that. We are going to drive um, from Jackson, Mississippi to Amarillo, Texas tomorrow and that should be right under nine hours but of course it doesn't include our stops so we will be stopping and doing lots of breaks and that kind of stuff and then hopefully getting to the hotel. We had originally were planning on doing it in three days and we've just realized there's no way like <laughs> we just can't do it so we're gonna do it in four days but yeah, so I think Corey is going to be back in a few minutes with the food and we're just going to hang out for a little bit, try to figure out our travel plans, and yeah. So if I don't pick up the camera the rest of the night, this is it for today's video for day one of our road trip across the country with three dogs and a trailer. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys are having a great day or night wherever you are. You're staying safe, taking care of each other, taking care of yourself, and always sending love out to the world today. And I'll see you guys tomorrow morning for day two.